Welcome to 19th video of developing Android application for your Android mobile phone. Yeah, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and add a reset button to our application. What if, for example, I just go ahead and make it, for example, do something else? And if I want to restart my application at some point of time, what should I do that? So I'm going to go ahead and close this one. And again, I'm going to go ahead and launch my cricket scoreboard. It's again going to go ahead and give it a value to that. But there's one more way that you can go ahead and do that is just go ahead and click on this one in all of the apps and just swipe it out. Just swipe it out and then going to go ahead and restart our application that is gonna go ahead and give it a zero and zero. But why should I do that in case I can go ahead and add a reset button to that inside our application as well. So if I click on restart it's gonna go zero by zero. So let's just go ahead and build that one. Whatever we do we always start with XML. So I'm gonna go ahead and inside this tool parents there's going to come up is one more parent that is gonna be a relative layout so let's just go ahead and add a relative layout and let me just go ahead and copy this code control C and control V and just remove all of this one and close this one and it's gonna give me error because I don't have height and weight to that so I'm gonna go ahead and add a height as match parent P -A -R -E -N -T, match parent and Android layout W weight is gonna be match parent P -A -R -E -N -T. and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one and goes to the end of that and add an end tag to our relative layout at this point of time it still shows some error so let's just go ahead and open it up and let's see what is the error behind that so it actually added width for that and that's the reason it was showing me the error match p a r e n t and let me just go ahead and remove the weight to that so everything is looking pretty nice now we have to go ahead and add is a reset button to this one so let me just go ahead and go out of this all of this one and add button capital b u button and if it will be wrap contain and it is gonna be wrap contain and here I'm going to go ahead and give it an ID to my button ID button reset button and after that I'm going to go ahead and as you can see it is showing so maybe we need a text to that so text will be reset app no only reset will be fine with that so there you can see it is gonna show it on the top of that so we need to give it as bottom so for that to make it a bottom i'm going to go ahead and type android layout align bottom and give it as true so it goes to the bottom and we need to keep it as center Android layout Android layout center horizontal and give it a true so there you can see it goes on the bottom and goes right over here and also we will go ahead and add is on click method to that on click will be reset and all the code which we have written is gonna go ahead and work with that in upcoming videos but one thing I need to show you that after writing all this code just go ahead and press Control A Control A on your keyboard so it's just go ahead and fill everything up then press Control Alt and then keep it as L so it just keep it neat and clean and everything is decent so you can go ahead and read a clear code 
and a proper way. So everything is done with the Android Studio with this help of having a shortcut keyboard. So I hope you try that out and I'll see you guys in the next video where we can go ahead and add a functionality to do that and we can go ahead and add Java. But just for adding Java code, why should we need an another video where it's just one single button? So let's just go ahead and create a button right over here inside main activity dot java we'll go ahead and add a public public void reset it's gonna be view it's gonna call view and call braces to that and i'm gonna go ahead and let me just go ahead and check the name of my method so it's reset on click is also reset okay now i'm going to go ahead and give it what we have given like on top score team a score team b so i'm going to go ahead and your score team a will be zero and then close this one score team b is equal to zero and close this one now we have to go ahead and display display team a which is going to be zero same we display team b it's gonna go ahead and display zero as well so let's just go ahead and run our application and let's see if that works so we will have a reset button and if we go ahead and click on any of the numbers from team a and team b and we have to restart it we just have to click on that restart button and it's gonna go ahead and apply it on application and it's gonna go ahead and give it as zero zero so there is a reset button let me just go ahead and give it any score six 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 four two or whatever so if i go ahead and click on restart button this is the time you will know that this video was helpful or it was just a waste so click on restart button so this was working and give it a zero and zero so i hope you try that out and i'll see you guys in the next video in the next video we are going to go ahead and complete this application this application is complete right over here but this doesn't look pretty nice so we'll go and add some looks to this application and make it much more professional and decent to use it as well so see you guys in the next video